one of the things we've done to get G blocks in the hands of people, uh, in, in the hands of more people, is to reduce the price. We name, we've been able to drop the price of G blocks by ten dollars on both our longer G blocks and our shorter G blocks. So that's almost uh, ten percent savings overall through the use of mass spectrometry as our main screening device. We we're able to get them in the hands of people quicker than we have been in the past. We've been able to drop two days off our turnaround time, and we can now ship most G blocks to people within four business days. G blocks were the first double-stranded product that was available in the synthetic biology market. And in the year and a half that we've had them around, there have been other competitors that have, have started uh, emulating our, our uh, G blocks. One of the real strengths that our G blocks have, though, is the precision with which we make them and the fidelity that they have. So the result of that is you have fewer screenings that need to be done to find the correct sequence when you clone G blocks. When you use them for qPCR controls, you have fewer mutations in there, and so your your control is much uh, is a much cleaner, much purer control. Something that much more accurately represents a genomic sequence. Um, all of this results in less work for the researcher, it results in less money in screening, and it results in them being able to actually use the product the way they want to use it, quicker and with less cost.